in a horror story, they're only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Strapped down. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Okay. Coincidence? So this is our starting point. It will prompt a new question. Okay, so they also played Sherlock Holmes. Investigate the crime scene. You're now free to examine the case board or leave. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. It's like Sherlock Holmes made with more money. So. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. That's consistent. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Yep. That's all consistent. But there's no tattooing post-mortem. Maybe they were interrupted. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Cool. Okay, okay. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Right. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. Again, interrupted. This makes four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Learn more about the victim and learn more about the killer. Z. I'm glad that this gameplay is interesting. Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. La. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Probably, yes. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, hmm. Until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale. Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I... Ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never Interesting. Never any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So he's been missing since 2010? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Interesting. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Alan Wake. Something this town wants to forget. Yeah. 
So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Well, obviously not, because I can see his penor. They were having a party. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. And filming it. There's pictures or film. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Victim. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. So far it's real easy to deduce, but I'm sure it'll get harder later. They weren't clean. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. We're gonna say it was premeditated. Cause I mean they were waiting. With equipment. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. And why now? Why here? Why now? Mm hmm. Victim came from. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Yeah, they definitely watched Hannibal. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. How? How am I supposed to know that? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. See that we can know. Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. This mug always cheers me Not up. Not the worst mom. Well, I think we've deduced all we can. Somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay, well, I'll just... Uh... This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen? Or something. Lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. 
Probably looking for shelter. Safety. And not being naked. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Night Where is he? Out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Right. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy though. Just because of the roots. There's a piece of paper on the ground. You're not going to read it? Like, that seems very important. That's a fucking... Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? No. Helen's. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Why can't I grab that? It's Alan Wake's novel. Like, that's very obvious. Oh, okay. A page full of text on one side. You shouldn't read it. Out. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Mm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. Yeah, you shouldn't read that. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were mm. right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up only to be murdered in a bloody, brutal and bloody ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page they had found. Not the last. The first step into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading, wor reading the words, these words, felt like a message, was a message. Someone knew they were here, someone knew, so someone knew that they were here, what they were doing. Someone was playing a game with them, leading them on, an invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery pre presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them. The page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must A replacement for his heart. I think he came from the lake. 
But his tracks make no sense. Okay. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. But we're not actually deducing. She has like weird profiling powers. Did you know this entire To get all kinds of secret information that doesn't make any fucking sense. This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Not exactly. You got it. Good. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on Why is her name fair? Logan? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy. You mean the lake? There, huh? Just like I said. Oh, I'm not allowed to examine him. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Okay. Thank you. Gonna need you to grab that Thanks. body, kid. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. No. Sounds good. Okay. Seems like a nice town so far. Burgess aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Well, it's a quiet place, you know. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Yeah, and you're... A tripod for a camera? To record a... Snuff film? Perhaps. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. See, that's a fine deduction. I'm, uh, I'm more talking about how she, you know, <sighs> the the wild leaps in logic they've been making are a little much. What the. Where he's, where she's like, he Let's must have come from the lake. The the how, how the fuck would you know? I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The 81st annual Deerfest. 
The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> Come get percolated. You had? Not enough. That's how much. As long as there's no fish in the percolator. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the belle of the ball at this year's beer fest. Just a few more days. Oh, dear. It's a nice looking float to share. You. This is my first beer fest, so I don't know what to expect. The Oh Dear Diner. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. Nice Sean Ashmore. I got you both some coffee. Well, well thank you. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They didn't seem it. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Is it cherry pie? Your time. Damn good pie. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Aww. Uh -huh. But it's slowed down ever since Coffee Mike was passed off. Our band boys. What were they called? Were they called Sons of Thunder? It was some play off of Odin. Um, something of Asgard, I think. Excuse me. Hello. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? Oh my God! It is Cherry Pie. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take it back. No, no, no. We just Take need to ask some questions, kind of okay? We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? We just need to know a little more. What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. And we're not saying that it's illegal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic cult. Yeah, that's about right. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was... Terrifying. That's all. Doesn't sound like that's all. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. See, that that's what I'm talking about with the incredible fucking leaps in logic. Like, what? this is supernatural bullshit powers. To hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Mm. 
So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. I told you not to keep that piece. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> it's like we'd even dream of missing you. But... Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um... I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. Okay. And that horrible thing happened to my baby girl. She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Was the You're girl mistaking me for someone else? Was the girl who worked at the diner named Rose in the first one too? If you say so. Well, like, are they saying that she's worked here for thirteen fucking years? Can you th can you imagine that working at a freaking diner for 13 years? Like for me that that would be hell. Cases cauldron murders. I got new evidence. Oh my god. I got the, I got the, uh, the bookers describe multiple attackers wearing gear masks. Oh, zoom in, stupid killer profile. Boom. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Cult goal? What kind of cult? Okay. And then all the way down here, who's involved? I have no idea to, as to identity. More symbols and the deer. What? Doesn't look right. How? I don't know how that doesn't fit. Cult stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Found a stash in Cauldron Lake mobile home. Weird. Okay. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Yeah, let's go take a look. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. Well, Sean Ashmore knows about dealing with cults. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. 
We're not gonna find out. Well, it's cropped up in the last ten years. Are we? I played some D and D back in the day. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guest. Deer fest. This does not feel like the first game at all. This is kind of interesting. Have a good one, Sheriff.